right, Oscar De La Hoya takes to Twitter, <laughs> social media, to take a shot at Earl Spence. And I think it's a way to try to bait Earl Spence into coming over to the zone and fighting Canelo and taking those 20 M's. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fellas, Sports TV with a building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And don't forget, we on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those links in the description. If need be, you need to reach out to your boy. Email is there as well. You can hit me up on any of the sites. Fastest way to get in touch with me is email and Twitter. But, um, yeah, De La Hoya goes to social media. We screenshot come up and pretty much says, damn, you know, instigating. Like, damn, show, even though it's Fox, he says, Showtime must got a lot of guarantee uh, money for Mikey and Danny Garcia because pay-per-view is dead. Wonder how Earl Spence feels about this. Obviously, as soon as this fight was around, this fight was talking. It could be a done deal. It was an advanced talk. Earl Spence said, you know, I'm not fighting in August no more. So yesterday we also talked about, um, you know, I heard through the grapevine that Sean Porter, Earl Spence fell out, fell out over financial, over money. So they fell out over money. Could have been a simple fact that he won a pay-per-view type shit now, nah, you know, but it is what it is. Um, I see Lil Hoya said, I'm loving Mikey Garcia versus Danny uh, Swift. It's Danny Garcia. Showtime must be paying them huge guarantees because we obviously know pay-per-view is dying. I wonder what Spence is thinking. <laughs> because Spence is supposed to fight Sean Porter on regular Fox. And all of a sudden, when it came when it came out that, you know, I don't know if he, I think he found out the same time we found out that uh, Mikey and Danny Garcia were a quote-unquote in advanced talks for pay-per-view August 31st at the Staples Center. I think he said, you know, some people probably got in his ear or it might have just been his ego saying, I just stumped Mikey for 12 rounds. You know, why I ain't going on pay-per-view? And the simple thing is that, you know, Puerto Rican, um, American Puerto Rican versus Mexican in Southern California, you know, that sells. Sean Porter don't sell. And then, and then we look about it. Mikey Garcia was actually the draw for the Earl Spence fight. A lot of people don't want to believe it, but look no further than what colors did Earl Spence come out? He came out to Mexican colors. Now, Earl Spence has fans, you know, Mexican fans, but it wasn't too many Mexicans that I came across that was going for, uh, that was going for uh, Earl Spence, not against Mikey Garcia. So, Mikey was the pool. They wouldn't have did 47,000. He wouldn't have done 47,000 at Jerry World with, with Sean Porter. You know, so people need to, you know, you know, just take it for what it is. Mikey Garcia was the bigger pull. And Earl Spence, I'm not saying it was 100% Mikey or 90-10 Mikey. I'm thinking it's more of a, you know, 60-40 split as far as, you know, who was responsible, you know, for the pay-per-view box. But it's only one way to find out. Let Mikey fight Danny Garcia on PBC pay-per-view. And then they can be moving Sean Porter to Earl Spence to pay-per-view I heard this morning. So that can make up for the, the financial discrepancy. You know, most people say, you know, when I said the financial issues we did live yesterday and I put it in the end screen, most people when I say, oh, financial, most people going to think it's, it's Kenny and Sean. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's Kenny and Sean Porter want too much money. And the way they would be moving, you know, remember Sean after the Granados fight, he was saying that, you know, I think T Street asked a question. He was saying that, you know, you want to fight Earl Spence? Oh, me and Earl, cool. You know, I'm, he wanted to come to Vegas, play basketball, whoop -de whoop And, um... You know, I made it happen, but I only want to fight Danny and Keith Thurman. I'm paraphrasing. So, Errol Spence not on my radar. He wasn't trying to fight Errol. And then, obviously, the people that be probably Jordan forced to fight Errol. So, really, you know, Errol, like, shit, if Mikey going to pay, 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 be on pay-per-view, you want me to fight on regular Fox? Well, I'm going to need, I'm just hypothetical, I'm going to need six, seven million dollar pay-per-view. So, Oscar De La Hoya is instigating. And that's what you're supposed to do. De La Hoya straight instigating. De La Hoya really wants Spence to come over there and fight Golovkin. They probably want Spence to have a warm-up fight and have Golovkin, I mean, excuse me, fight Canelo. They want Spence to have a warm-up fight, and they just go ahead and do Golovkin and uh, Canelo, you know, first, the trilogy, and then do Spence next year. And that's what De La Hoya want. He wants to, he want, he instigating. I wonder how Spence feels about this, you know. Mikey and Danny fighting on pay-per-view, and he fighting a regular Fox. And please believe me, one of one of Earl Spence's confidants and close people said the same thing to him. And that's just the fact of the matter of it. Ego thing. All of a sudden, you know, everything was penciled in for August 3rd, Barclays Center, regular Fox. 
You know what I'm saying? And he he hears, just as we hear about Mikey and Danny pay-per-view. Oh, no. Because him and Sean Porter could have had that pay-per-view date, I believe, around that or around that date. They didn't want to wait until September or the end of August. They wanted to get it popping now yeah, as soon as possible. So, like, De- De La Hoya doing the right thing for his business. Like, damn. Is Finch really going to let them do that, do that to him? They really going to do that to him? They really going to just, you know, the winner... You know, the winner of the Mikey fight is going to go on regular Fox, and then the loser is going to go on pay-per-view. Damn, Spence, how you feel about that? And everybody know how Spence feel about it because he went to IG. He can't, these niggas can't hold water. I ain't fighting in August. Come on. That's all you need to know right there. He and his feelings. All, the, all these dudes on PBC is getting st- treated like spoiled brats. That's just what it boils down to. Uh, Bruno on pay-per-view, Earl on pay-per-view, Keith, I got to be on pay-per-view. <laughs> you know, Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia, I got to be on pay-per-view. Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, I got to be on pay-per-view. Javante Tank Davis, Santa Cruz, I got to be on pay-per-view. So, now Earl Spence said, you know, I'll move the fight ba- back now to be on pay-per-view. And it is what it is, man. That just that just shows you these, these dudes don't care about the fans. They care about their pockets the most. And they don't care about the long-term goal. The long-term goal... If he fights Sean Porter on regular Fox, he's going to get more fans to follow him in the pay-per-view. But then again, it is what it is. I ain't buying this shit. I just told y'all. But it'd be interesting financially. I mean, interesting to see the numbers it pull. Because this might be a sticking point for, for Bob Ehrman, though. You know, like, okay, if Spence do a 300000 by himself, he doubled, he more than doubled Crawford, so... He probably do deserve a 60-40 split. And I never not said that he wasn't the A-side. I always said they should just split it 40-40 and the winner take the 20 off top. But at the end of the day, Oscar De La Hoya trying to get in Earl Spence's ear and come fight Canelo because he know it's a win-win for them. You got a rising star in Texas. You know, Mexico right next to Texas. They used to be Mexico. They could do it at Cop J World. It's going to sell out 100000 It's going to be a big fight. It's going to bring fans over to the zone, at least if not just for them one night. And, you know, if they production and they and everything else keep them there and they fix their production, they fix their lag and they fix their shitty ass crew, you know, then maybe, you know, most people might retain the zone. But at least for one night financially, they might clear two, three million paper, uh, $20 buys, even more. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. They could choose to do whatever they want to do. At the same time, Delahoy, you're right. And I'm telling you, De La Hoya wasn't the first person to to gas up Earl Spence. And it looked like Earl Spence might have blocked him because he couldn't tag Earl Spence in a tweet. So, you know, he just, you know, pretty much people going to poke the bear. Also, De La Hoya didn't have to poke the bear. He didn't. Because people around Earl Spence is poking the bear. Oh, man, Mikey, I already know how people get down. I already know how black people get down. Just people in general. Oh man, that nigga gonna man, you gonna let Al Heyman do that to you. And that's why Al Heyman, if the rumors are true, that's why Al Heyman is gonna have selling PBC, man. These these dudes then put Al Heyman in a position where, you know, they not getting the return that they they overpaying everybody. So they not getting the return that they should get on live gates and and record sales and stuff of that nature. They not getting that return. And they're not getting the best fights. So therefore, Al Heyman might have to sell PBC. So then again, they're not going to be baby no more. Either they're going to stay with PBC, and if it's true, Dana White going to be the front man. You know, they're going to stay with PBC and fight the best, or they're going to go over to the top rank, and they're going to be signing with promoters, fighting on that app they said they're not going to fight on. So we'll see. We'll see, but Oscar De La Hoya just doing his job, trying to recruit Earl Spence. It's going to be a period. If they sell PBC, and Dana White is going to be the front man, and he only gonna put on top, you know, elite fights, top caliber fights. Then a lot of these dudes gonna be in trouble. They gonna have to go to top rank, the zone. You know, Al Heyman probably still be advising the contracts and managing fighters. And Al Heyman might just say, "Fuck it, it's a wrap." But it is what it is, man. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate the love, and support. Keep sharing the videos, man. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Just keep sharing the videos, man. It's the best way to help out. Check out the Patreon. And um, let me know what y'all think about this, about De La Hoya, you know, uh, trolling Spence and uh, and the whole situation with him and Sean Porter. Make sure to subscribe button, bell icon button, one time for the one time we don't.